day, people. Welcome to Perth Watch, your horology channel broadcasting from right here in Perth, Western Australia. Today, I have my second piece from a Swiss watch company or SWC USA for short. Uh, now, I reviewed uh, their sport model sometime last year, I think, and you know, that was all right. Uh, check out the review if you wish to find out more about that one. Uh, but I, look, I think this second watch, which I have from Den, uh, I think this one is actually quite a winner. And let's get into it. So it comes in this uh, travel pouch, very thick leather. And you do feel you can drop this with the watch inside and it will protect it absolutely fine. Very nice stick, uh, you know, genuine leather and has a nice leather aroma to it. Three buttons around the side here. Nicely thick here, and then on one side, uh, you have the extra strap uh, that it comes in. It does come in an option of a leather strap along with the Velcro uh, warranty card that it comes in. Okay, and then on this side is the watch, so you can actually use this as a double watch carry case if you want to do that. All right, so let's just open this up a little bit and show you guys this watch in closer detail. So guys, over here we have the SWC Bunker Field Watch in blue-gray colorway. Uh, now this does come in, uh, you know, classic black, of course. It does come in a, a gray-green as well as a brown. Uh, so check out the site for the different colorways if you wish to find more details about it. The MSRP or the, the selling price that they are listing this is 430 USD. Uh, I suspect that time to time they may go in a little bit on sale here, so keep an eye out on that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, so let me know if you know if SWC do sometimes go on sale. Right, first up, let's talk about movement. So, you know, don't have to say much about this. It is the Solita SW200-1 stats down the left of screen here. Uh, now, the quick set date on this occasion is implemented at a six o'clock position. So, you know, they have had to swap out the original date wheel. It is a uh, light date wheel with black writing. It's not color matched to the dial in this case. So I, I think that's something that, that could have lifted this, this watch, a color matched date wheel, in my opinion. Uh, the actual accuracy of this watch is very uh, nicely regulated. You know, they've dialed this in very nicely and it's running very consistently at about plus two seconds per day. And I understand that they do tend to regulate their watches pretty well. Moving on to the case then, uh, guys, this is a 41 millimeter, very nicely proportioned case. I think uh, only 10 millimeters on the thickness here. 22 millimeter lug width with a lug to lug distance, which is actually fairly compact. You can see the, the lungs are fairly, you know, squat or, or compact at 46.5 millimeters. Uh, because this is a titanium case uh, in, and it's on this World Velcro strap, it is only 48 grams. So very, very light, very easy to wear, very easy to forget. It is on your wrist and I really do enjoy you know, having this on the wrist here, it really is so easy to just keep wearing. Finishing wise, you know, as I've panned it around, you, you can see it's a hundred percent matte or when you, you want, might want to call this sandblast finish titanium. And there is a hardened coating here. So they haven't said much about it on the website, but I assume it's a pretty darn good coating, maybe about a thousand, you know, uh, HV because, you know, I've worn this a lot. I've worn this a lot. And whilst I'm fairly uh, gentle or careful, I, I don't bang them around, you know, there is no scratches whatsoever that I've picked up. So, you know, I think uh, or suspect the hardness coating is actually a pretty good one. Uh, now, uh, the screw down case back, you can see there, um, you know, nothing, nothing too flashy there, right? No, just very utilitarian. Screw down, solid case back. Uh, it's got a solid crown, which uh, is signed and is in this nice gear motif. Hopefully you can see the profile there. It's like a little gear there, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, 100 meters is the water rating that they've gone for, which makes this you know perfectly capable to be an everyday go anywhere type of watch. Right, moving on to the dial here. So uh, looking at that, look at that supreme legibility. So this is a matte finish blue gray dial. It's got silver printed details. I know all the SWC 
automatic, uh, the inner 24-hour track, around, as well as the chapter ring around the periphery. Uh, the indices are very uh, thick loom, and they are actually red or orange red ringed you know they're actually surrounded by a little rim there and hopefully you can see it in the macro shots that i'll post here so all 12 indices and numerals so the numerals are of course in the even spots two four six eight ten twelve and then batons for the intervening indices there uh, the hands are matte finish syringe style hands i want to call this uh, and it's got a orange tipped uh, you know, arrow seconds hand with a lollipop counterbalance, which is where the loom pip is. Now, the loom on SWC watches are always very good. So in this case, there are 20 layers of Swiss BGW9 and definitely glows very well and glows through the night without a problem. Loom shot right here, of course, to let you see how it looks like in the dial. Okay, moving on then, on top of the dial, it's a flat sapphire crystal, so you can see, you know, it does reflect, uh, you know, in a flat uh, dimension there. Uh, but excellent anti-reflective coating. They say there are 16 layers, and it is actually very good. You know, this is approaching Omega Seamaster levels of anti-reflectivity, I think. Okay, so that's the case. Now, straps. Uh, this is uh, the strap that I've really just enjoyed having it on. It is a blue-gray uh, matching the dial here. So they call this a blue-gray Velcro. And because it's Velcro, uh, on this surface, it's infinitely adjustable. You can just put it any position you want and then just strap it on. Very, very easy to use. And, you know, i got to say, I have just kept this on for days and days. This this is so comfortable and because it's infinitely adjustable, you get it perfectly sized. And there we have it, the SWC bunker with the Velcro strap on my 17 centimeter wrist. And because the lug to lug is compact at 46 and a half and it's only 10 millimeters in thickness, I think anybody, just about anybody can wear this watch. It's just so good and so suitable and also so comfortable. And I gotta say, it is actually a pretty darn good looking case. Just the angles that they've gone for there, the way the lugs sit on the wrists, it's very well done. You know, I really do like this watch. Uh, now, I showed you the other strap that it comes in. Uh, so this is uh, a padded strap, right? Genuine leather. It's got matching brush titanium or matte titanium hardware with SWC logo there. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's got quick release uh, bars there and nicely done stitching you know pretty well done and you know i'm not going to swap it on right now because it's not quick release on that uh, i will show you some shots of how this looks on the watch uh, as well as a wrist shot on how it looks right it, it's it's absolutely uh, perfectly fine you know there's nothing wrong with it it is a slightly stiff uh, you know and it will break in i suspect but because of this Velcro strap that they provided uh, is just so good. Uh, I haven't really spent a lot of time uh, with this leather strap at all. And I suspect I wouldn't, you know, I would just keep it on the Velcro. That's how good this is. Okay, that's uh, the review or the description. What have I enjoyed about this? Look, I think this is a great looking and very well executed fuel style watch. In fact, I, I kind of... I think this is possibly the best fuel watch that I have had. I've had other ones which are similar size. I've had ones which are smaller. Uh, for example, the one from uh, Singapore. I can't remember the uh, the name number. I'll put a screenshot right here and link to those other uh, watches which I have reviewed. I, I kind of think that I like the presence of the 41 millimeter. I really do enjoy this and I think I will be keeping this because it has been so good to wear. Uh, you know, superlative legibility. It's got fantastic loom, you know, another strength. Uh, it's got great subtle dial details. So, you know, not just the detailed chapter ring, but, you know, those uh, red rimmed indices, you know, a little bit of work has gone into this dial. It's not just a simple printing and an excellently finished case. You know, this case, you know, very nicely matte finish here and that hardness coating does give it an extra edge here. I really think that, it's got to be pretty good being that this watch is still in perfect condition. Uh, and overall, you're getting a quality Swiss made package, right? SW200 movement, you got that hardness coated in the titanium, 100 meters water rating, which makes this an everyday watch, and a surprising revelation on this Velcro strap. This has been just so recommendable. If you have a 22 millimeter watch, 
uh, lugs that you want to try this on, I recommend just picking one up because they are also very cheap. Now, any weaknesses? Um, very little. You know, I, I think the date window, uh, I would just a slight criticism here. That's just a simple cutout. There's no frame on there. I think if we're going to do that, maybe give us a you know, color match date wheel that, that just sticks out as something as you know, just slightly basic in an otherwise very excellently done watch. Uh, I think applied indices might have been interesting, but look, I understand that this watch is going for this very uh, high legible fuel style look, so applied might not have been the right choice. I think it just might have been interesting and maybe something that lifts it, but I love it just as it is. And perhaps, uh, you know, the, the nice problem it gives me is that I just keep wearing this. This has been taking a lot of risk time. If you look at my recent reviews where, uh, you know, I've done face shots, you can see I have been wearing this watch. And it's just something that is so easy to keep wearing. It just blows other watches off the wrist, at least in the last couple of months that I've had this. So guys, there you go. My thoughts on the SWC Bunker Field Watch. Let's flip it around now for the wrap up. So there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed that quick fire review. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Always look forward to the discussion from my viewers. Guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me. And as always, I'll catch you guys again next time.